All right, this is Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 1. And in this lesson, we are going to be bundling um, popsicle sticks and, and imagining popsicle sticks in order to count ones, tens, hundreds, all the way up to a thousand. And the idea is we're going to be using these physical popsicle sticks as a physical representation of the place value uh, system that students are going to be learning uh, as they move on into higher grades. All right, so here, here's the deal, uh, parents and teachers. Really, uh, I go cheap. I don't use uh, expensive materials when I'm teaching. I go as cheap as I possibly can, uh, simply because you don't need to spend a lot of money in order to make a powerful impact on, on teaching math. And so I just found this on Amazon, and you could buy a thousand popsicle sticks for four bucks. Um, you know, these uh, thousand popsicle sticks is going to last you a while. Uh, you could use all thousand for this particular lesson, so this lesson might cost you four bucks, but then the popsicle sticks are going to be reusable, um, and you can have them forever. Um, now, here's the deal. Over here, you'll notice uh, I, I lay out a bunch of popsicle sticks, and we count them. And as we're counting them in groups, I have my little students sitting in a circle or around me, and we're counting the ones, the individual popsicle sticks. But then as we're counting, as we group them in 10, I'll bundle them into tens. So now we have 10, 20, 30, 40, etc. And then the idea is once we've got 10 tens, so once we have 10 tens, we could bundle those together, and that equals 100. And the idea is you could just keep going and going. Now you have, once you have 100, then you have 100, 200, 300. And we could continue counting our bundles of 100. So what I often do is I turn this into a 10 or 15 minute fun floor activity where we begin by counting individual popsicle sticks, then we count bundles of 10, then we bundle our tens together to make hundreds, and then we can bundle our hundreds together to make a, uh, a thousand. And of course, all of this is possible thanks to the glorious Amazon Prime, and for four bucks in a day or so, you get all your popsicle sticks that you need. So using that physical representation, we're going to take these three numbers here and arrange them in order from smallest to largest, or largest to smallest, whatever. And so we have eight ones. So we could think of those as eight little bun eight little popsicle sticks. One, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So eight little um, popsicle sticks. Now here, we we're going to have six, so it's a smaller number. But six what? Well, it's six tens, so it's going to be bundles. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six. So each bundle is ten. Oops, each bundle is ten popsicle sticks. And then we have three hundred. So oh my goodness, that's going to be like all the the bundles together. Three sets of tens. I mean. Um, three sets of ten tens. Oh my goodness. So the idea is we should be able to get students thinking physically and they can sort these so that they can see that eight ones is the smallest, three hundreds is the largest, and six tens is the middle. What's kind of cool, parents and teachers, is the fact that going from smallest to largest are digits themselves are going from largest to smallest. Uh, don't let that trip up your high-flying kids who start to think they see a pattern that, oh, the smaller the number, the larger it is. That's just a coincidence here. Because really what's important is the labels. So in this eight ones, we're talking about eight ones means eight individual little pop sticks, uh, popsicle sticks. Six tens means we've got bundles of tens and we have six bundles, so that's 60. And then here, we have bundles of hundreds. Oh my goodness. And then we have three of those bundles, so three hundreds. And so here they give us pictures. And it says, count each group. What is the total number of sticks in each group? 
So if we've got bundles of 100, we've got 100, 200, 300, 400. So altogether, we have 400 uh, sticks in that pile. Over here, bundles of 10, so you have 1 10, 2 10s, 3 10s, 4 10s, 5 10s, 6 10s. So 6 10s, another way you could say it is 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. So we could say we have 60. And uh, parents and teachers, uh, at this point, you can let your students kind of bounce back and forth be calling, between calling this 6 10s or 60. Uh, both are fine at this point. And then way over here, we've got a bunch of little ones. They're not bundles anymore. They're just units. They're individual popsicle sticks. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So we have eight. So we have 400 plus 60 plus 8. And if we want to write down what is the total number of sticks, I'm going to write it down here. We would say it like this, 468. Parents and teachers, that might be a little bit of a leap going from here to here, because students might be saying, well, what happened to the zeros that suddenly disappeared? Uh, don't worry. Uh, the lessons will feed on themselves, and so you can move on, And even though students might not have a totally firm grasp at this point. And that wraps up Grade 2, Module 3, Lesson 1, where we're bundling popsicle sticks to understand ones, tens, hundreds, and thousands.